Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. On that, we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. Taylor. Conversation over. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Max! Help! I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. Train. Oh shit! I can definitely use this bad boy. Come on, Max! Hurry! Now I can finally move the drum. to help lift Chloe up. Max! Damn. That was close. You saved me again. You're crazy. We were totally bombed. You okay? 
Okay. I got splinters in my ass and legs, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Oh, Max! Mm. Help! I'm, I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. What's that noise? The train! Oh, shit! I can definitely use this bad boy. Shit, I can't budget at all. Uh, score. Hurry. Please, get me out of here. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. not locked. But which wire to cut? Max, please! Now that's the right cable. Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. That was close. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither, unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Wrong, Warren.
Lauren, you need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. <laughs>